So, we're trying to upload the uh, video for uh, the next History Channel pod on uh, communications, and coincidentally, they're doing maintenance on one of the antennas. So, our email server is down. This is another real, uh, real thing that the astronauts will have to deal with. Sometimes you lose your communications altogether. We're not able to communicate with Earth in real time. We're not allowed to use phones, we're not allowed to use Skype, we're not allowed to use text messaging. Why is that? It all comes down to the speed of light. When Mars and Earth are as far away apart as they can be, 401 million kilometers apart, it takes over 22 minutes for that signal to cross that distance. On a simulated Mars, we simulate that same gap. Um, we simulate about a 20 minute delay on all our communications, so all emails we send, all files we send, are delayed by 20 minutes to simulate that real uh, effect caused by the speed of light. Being separated from home, being separated from loved ones, and being separated from your home planet for years at a time. This is going to be a real effect on astronauts as they go farther and farther out into the solar system. Hey, sweetie. By now you've gotten the photos I sent. The worst thing is just the time it takes to communicate with loved ones. I hope you had a good day, and I love you a lot. You send an email, you get the response maybe a day later. It's important to keep that communication, but it's just a little bit tougher when you don't have the telephone or can't look at somebody in the eye and talk to them. I just want to give you a quick good night video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. We're a few days away from being exactly six months into the mission. This is a 12-month uh, mission, so that will be the halfway point. Even though we're going through hardships here, even though we can't communicate with our families, I still feel that we're very lucky in what we have, as will be the um, adventurers that choose to go forth and really visit Mars and asteroids. Time to suit up and go handle the composting toilets. New experiments, new cave explorations, new geology tasks. I think the most exciting part of all of this is that we get to learn things that are really going to inform a future Mars mission. That's incredible to me.